welcome back so today we are looking at something called layers and layer combinations now this is a bit an, of an advanced topic because um, it's actually a simple idea and concept but it's considered a bit you know advanced because most of the beginners actually get lost as they try to use layers and layer combinations now if i select any element within archicad if i select like this wall you can see here in the toolbox and the info box this is the toolbox by the way and this is the info box you can see that this wall actually has a layer if you see in this uh, compartment here so if i select this layer you can see that we have a um, a lot of layers in here and this wall has been assigned to structural bearing by default now if i select something else for example uh, this piece of furniture you can see it's being assigned interior furniture mm -hmm. now we want to understand how to actually use these uh, layers and layer combinations for our own advantage so if for example we wanted to print out this floor plan you can see that we have some information that is quite unnecessary for example this mesh is not supposed to be seen on the floor plan so how do we actually use layers in order to hide it such that it's still there we can see it in 3d but in the floor plan it's hidden so once i have it selected i can right click and say layers and then i say hide layer so right now this has been hidden and then now we have a much cleaner flow plan uh, which we would actually print out but then as well we need to be aware that this the thing that we have just done is temporary so how do we actually make it a little bit permanent because right now if i go back to what la the layer combination was so we are actually going to talk about layer combinations in this video so for now you can see that this has changed to custom in this bottom uh, part but if i go back to drafting you can see that this mesh actually comes back so we want to actually create our own layer combinations that actually help us to define the things that are supposed to be shown on the floor plan so let's without much further ado let's do this let's go to documents and go layers and then we say layers here which is Control l and once we have this tab open you can see we have two sections we have the layer section here which contains a lot of layers that has everything that we have in the floor plan and then to the left we have what we call layer combinations now layer combinations are things that actually combine these layers in order to to show and hide items respectively so for example if i select rendering you can see some of the elements have been hidden for example in the render we do not actually need to see dimensions we need to see anything related to the 2d part of the drawings so we want to also create our own combination that helps our floor plan to hide some things and show others so this is what we are trying to achieve and the simplest way to do it is to actually do it within the floor plan itself uh, so let's get rid of this it was used for just demonstration to show how layers actually work so like we did before let's just select this and then we right click and say layers and say hide layer and right now the layers have that layer has been hid and in order to have this as a consistent uh flow plan for all the flows we can actually save this layer combination because right now it's called custom and we will easily lose it so how do we actually do that we now want to save this layer combination by hitting ctrl l or going through document layers layers in order to open up this uh, thing and right now without doing anything we can just say new because it still remembers what we already uh, did and we name this as our flow plan layer combination so you can see that now we create 
a flow plan layer combination and it has been formed here at the bottom once i say okay you can see that this is what we have actually saved as a flow plan layer combination and there are some you know layer combinations that are there by default if i go in here you can say once i say side things disappear because you know we don't need to have uh, walls and furniture on a site so you can see that we already have things like that then we have drafting the one which we actually had which has this mesh in here but if we change now to our floor plan the one we have just created you can see that things have been hid and so you want to be a little bit careful how you actually approach this it's a simple um uh idea but you can easily mess up things and you and you you end up redoing work if you do actually are not careful about how to actually hide and show some elements and you know you can see if i be in layers in layouting most all of the things disappear and you can always you know go through you can see dimensions disappear in the rendering like we said <laughs> and as well these uh we have just the uh the rest of the things without the dimensions and uh that's the the simplest idea for creating floor plan layer combination so now we have created this floor plan layer combination and the reason why we do this is because we want to actually save this view such that it's easy to get back to it and ever since we began we were working with what we call the project map which is this one right here but then now we are transitioning to the next level which is the view map so you can see that the view map has been selected now and uh, all i want to do is to right click on this tab which is this ground floor and i say save view and right now this view is saved as ground floor and then you can see that we have something called layer combination now for the rest of the videos that we are left with we want to explore what these parameters are within um, in the upcoming videos one by one but for now we have we are dealing with layer combinations so you want to make sure that you have the right layer combinations selected so in my case it's floor plan and once i say create this view has been saved here on the ground floor so in case i mess it up in case i mess up this floor plan by having something else selected and maybe some things disappear for example if we change to rendering and we actually don't know what's actually going on it's easy for us to go in saved views and just click here on the ground floor and once we double click we get back everything because we have saved the appropriate layer combination and all the other stuff cool so this is how you're actually going to proceed as well to save the next flow plan which is the fast flow so if i double click here you can see that we have a lot of stuff here but we also want to make sure that we have the flow plan selected and um, i think the rest everything else here is relevant for the flow plan so we will go ahead and right click on the tab say save view and you can see that we have the first flow here and i say create that will be created in the saved view layout here so you can see we have these two floor plans if i click here we double click here we go back to the ground floor if i double click here we go to the first floor and we will do that as well for the terrace so double click in here in order to get this floor plan and making sure that we have the right <clears throat> layer combination selected which is the floor plan right click and save view and then we will have it as the terrace create and it will be created and finally we have the roof uh, double click in here in order to save this roof and i can see that we have a few things here which we need to be hidden for example this uh beams should not be seen so either we can create a layer and we hide it on this layer combination because we do not need it or we could just uh, bring these things to the top because currently these things are below and all we want to do is select everything that we want to be on top of these beams right click and say layer display order bring forward just a couple of times bring forward 
or we can see bring to front and it will be on front but that is it so we can see that we have ourselves a clean roof plan and this we can right click save view and there we have something called roof plan here you can see and you remember you can actually create a custom name if you wanted to give it something else but for now i'm going to keep it as a project by project map such that it it bears the same name as my project map okay so now we have our three floor plans saved so let's head over to the next video where we will talk about uh more of the combinations